Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to show you just a small update on one of my routers. Um, I had uh, a 24 pole router made out of MDF, as you can see. It has uh, disintegrated a little bit on me on higher RPM testing. So, I decided to make another one out of steel. This one is not going to explode on me on high RPM, hopefully. I don't think so. It is a pretty good balance. Not 100%, but uh, pretty good nonetheless. It is all uh, laser cut. So yeah, I'm going to give it just a small test run. I'm going to drive it on uh, 16 to 15 and a half volts. As you can see it is already pulling 1 amp but you have to give it some time because this road is pretty heavy so it takes a lot of time to get momentum as you can see it is already at uh, 500 milliamps tune it a little bit over here don't like to run my stuff at too much of a high RPM, but sometimes I need to. As you can see, this is a good view of the rotor spinning. Mm, yeah. Little bit of knock and sound in one of these bearings. The bearings have gone through a lot of abuse within the last years. As you can see, spinning pretty nicely. RPM should be around maybe 1000 now, something like that. And the input is 16 volts at yeah below 100 milliamps, maybe 75, something like that. And of course, if I tune it over here with the uh, pot, you can see it goes up over there. Now I'm at around uh, 300 milliamps, something like that. Of course, it is spinning up. Nothing special there. I also did a little adjustment on one of these rotors. You've seen this before in the high RPM uh, spools motor of mine. But now I have a ring on it over here. This ring is uh, stainless steel. Is for me to be certain the magnets stay in place because I'm gonna drive this rotor yeah anything between 6,000 to 12,000 rpm and I'm gonna use this motor over here for that purpose this is the vacuum cleaning um, universal motor I've been trying to use it for a pretty long time now but running in all cycle all kinds of issues sorry so I decided to make a nice um, steel plate to mount it properly it's sliding there pretty good so I can mount it properly on a wooden base without having any issues anyway uh, yeah knocking sound bearing running on 16 volts at yeah maybe 75 milliamps not bad of course I can go higher but don't need to now gonna stop it and give you another view again like I said just a small update video 24 pole rotor caught in the uh, vintage old style wheels ways I do like those kind of designs, I might say. Yeah, okie dokie. Yeah, that's about it. And I should have let you see something. Yeah, just a quick. Let me spin it up once more time. I have here a simple coil and a. Um, that's a half a watt LED over there. And of course I put it over here, we get nice light, 
Sorry for the total darkness. Hopefully I will find that... Uh, ah, there it is. And of course it will put a little bit of a drag on the system, not much. Just to give an indication that the rotor is working. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, switching it off. Okie dokie. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you for watching.